Hey guys, Gun Noob here, our official first review. Uh, I also go by mod on the forums if you're on AR15.com, Glock Talk, a couple different other gun forums. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys uh, two holsters, two in the waistband holsters. Uh, one is the Comtac MTAC, and the other is a Crossbeat Super Tuck. Now, um, on the forums you'll read a lot where people ask what is the best in the waistband or IWB holster and these two seem to get the top replies as the most recommended or, or most popular holsters and and there's good reason for that they're both uh, very well made they're both very comfortable and um, they're both pretty similarly priced I believe the MTAC is a little bit less expensive than the crossbreed now I ran a crossbreed super tuck or excuse me I ran the uh, MTAC with my Glocks for a couple of years and I loved them uh, I had two different holsters um, and I really enjoyed them. I really pushed them or re recommended them because of the versatility of changing out the plastic bodies here. You can pretty much uh, buy the leather back with a body and then later down the road if you switch platforms like I did, I went from a Glock to a 1911 platform, uh, you can get a new body. However, a little frustrated with uh, Comtac because they went from a Gen 1 to a Gen 2 leather back here. Uh, the Gen 2 has a wider strap here, and there's some other dimensional differences, which means if you have a Gen 1 back, you can't just order a body from Comtac anymore because it won't fit, because mainly the screw positioning or dimensions here are, are different. Uh, I learned this the hard way. I had a Gen 1 back, ordered a this actual 1911 body when I got my Springfield, and it would not fit. I ended up calling up M uh, Comtac, and they did give me a discount on this leather back, but I was still frustrated that I had to buy a complete new back, and now I have a, a Gen 1 back laying around, uh, actually, right here. That's pretty much worthless unless I find someone uh, that wants it. Um, but anyways, uh, it's a very comfortable holster, very well made. Um, I ran my first MTAC for about two years, never had a problem with it at all, never had to replace the clips um, to hold on to my belt. and. Uh, I was very happy with that holster. Um, and just recently, in a trade deal, I picked up a Comtac, or excuse me, a, a Crossbreed Super Tuck. And this one is used. Uh, someone did a homemade combat cut on the back, which is they removed some material here. Um, and so far, I am actually in love with this holster. Uh, the MTAC was great with the Glocks, however, with the 1911, uh, which is a pretty heavy pistol. Um, it's not the most comfortable. Uh, I wore it for a couple of weeks and just wasn't really feeling it. Uh, I, I usually wear anywhere from 3 o'clock to 4, 4.30 uh, my right hip and I just was not very comfortable and I found myself using my out the waistband holster most of the time instead of the in the waistband and only using this uh, when it got warmer out and I had to get into warmer clothes and just a t-shirt and a pair of shorts or something like that I would throw this on. However, now that I've got the crossbreed, I find myself using this pretty much religiously. Uh, I haven't used my out the waistband holster in the past couple of weeks because of this holster. And I think the main reason for that is is the size of the leather backing. It's much wider, much broader. Um, it's a single piece of leather rather than a, a couple of different put together. I don't necessarily think that that makes it more comfortable, but it seems so. Um, but I think the biggest advantage that the crossbreed had is, is the girth, the width of it here. It allows it to wrap around the body better. Uh, if you've got love handles like myself, uh, this seems to be more comfortable. Um, and so far, I, I really like this holster. I kind of wish I would have had uh, a non-combat cut one, because I find sometimes that the uh, safety here, if I don't put it down into, this is clear by the way, if I don't put it down into the holster perfectly, sometimes will be outside of that combat leather and I have to tuck it in. So, As far as retention is concerned, um, the Super Tuck's quite a bit looser. You can see the, the, the gun moves around in there quite a bit. It's got some play, slides out rather easy. However, I've not had one issue with this, uh, with my 1911 coming out, which is probably due partially to gravity. Uh, this is a pretty heavy firearm. I don't know the exact weight, but when it's loaded with uh, eight rounds of 45, it, it's pretty heavy. Um, so the retention's not as as good as with the Comtac. Comtac here is nice and tight. Get a little bit of play in there, 
And one thing that's unique about the Comtag is you have these two adjustment screws here. Underneath here, if you can see that, there's two rubber grommets, and depending on how tight you tighten these two, you can adjust the retention of the holster, which is actually one of the, another one of the features that I really like about this holster. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. I'm not trying to pick which one's better. I've run the, M the MTAC and loved it for quite a few years and still highly re recommend it. I'm a little discouraged that they switched from a Gen 1 to Gen 2, which kind of made the Gen 1 obsolete. It's kind of frustrating uh, if you're, a, you know, bought the Gen 1 and want to upgrade or get a new plastic body here. Um, as far as the Crossbreed Super Duck is concerned, this is now my go-to holster for my 1911. With the Glocks, again, I prefer the MTAC. Never used a Crossbreed, but the MTAC was extremely comfortable with my Glock pistols. Usually it was the Glock 23C or a 26 or a 27. Um, but now with the 1911, I'm definitely going to be using the Super Tuck pretty much religiously. So enjoy the review. Hope to have more coming in the future. And please uh, drop some comments down below.